All right, we are back with our last regular season game of the season against Nebraska. Um, it would be nice to get finish the season off with a win. Fortunately, I don't think no matter what, even if we win, I don't think we make the college football playoff. Um, top 12 or whatever. We're ranked 18th right now. I don't think we can get up to 12. Oh. When you arrive in Kinnick Stadium, is what it is. You know what but that's why it's a dynasty. You got, you know, you don't play just one year. You play for a long time. Got to win a something. Win the national championship. Quarterback's the biggest thing, and I didn't get one in recruiting. So we're gonna have to. We did get two recruits, so that's good. We got two recruits. That's it so far this year in recruiting. I've not done a good job. Oh, hello, number thirty. He's not very fast. Let's see if he can get there. Let's go. All right, first kickoff return of the year for this guy. I haven't been able to get anything going all year. Let's go. That's huge, obviously. <laughs> Start the game off up 7 0 is huge. But QB is always a thing concern at Iowa. Like, if I can get a QB, I'll be good, probably. I need a running back, too. I, I haven't been able to recruit a running back. I haven't been able to get any recruits. I got some recruits at this game right now, attending this game. No way we just gave up one right back. There's no way. Come on. Oh, that's so annoying. No. That's... <laughs> oh, my God. It's going to be the highest scoring game of all time. It's on pace for 300 points. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, but I do have some recruits at this game. I think there were some visits in this game. I'm going to get more than just the two. I've got several that are going to come that probably going to just pick Iowa by the fall. So. Probably going to have to go to the transfer portal and get... Uh, I don't know what. I'll have to find a uh, quarterback, hopefully. We say that, but we know differently. The blood is boiling, the temperature is hot. Jesse, you want this week more than most. Yeah, and we played in these games before. Everything just seems to be heightened, right? The game seems to be moving faster. The crowd noise feels louder. Your composure will be tested early in a game like this. Didn't take long to need a clutch play on the opening drive. It's third and seven. Back to throw, it's McNamara. Nobody. What? How in the... Well, they try to throw for it there on third down on the opening drive of the game. They don't get it, but let's punt the ball away. Let's trust our defense. And, guys, let's also trust this home field advantage and the crowd to get loud and make it real difficult on our opponent. So the Nebraska Cornhuskers offense has the ball for the first time. Offense getting set for first down. From the shotgun, the inside give. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. The RPO, it's complete. I love working with slot receivers. You see so much of that. It's about matchups, right? I can put a fast guy in that slot, maybe get him matched up on a linebacker or a safety. I like working those guys in those matchups. Favorable for the offense for sure. Better find the ear plugged. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Oh. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. It's hard to stop great runners. It really is. That's why you run the football consistently. You got a big offensive line, a big physical unit. You run the football like this, man, it will take a toll later. But you got to tackle this guy over and over again who has this ability to make people miss and make big plays. The Cornhuskers have it with a first and ten. Trying to get the corner. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, the offense goes toss play, but guys, they do it running into the boundary. There's just not a lot of space and room to work for the running back. He had nowhere to go, and he got tackled for a loss. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. On the run, it's Rayola. 
Ooh, that could have been picked off. That's dangerous, though. And they pick up just a few on that completion. I know you want to prepare for every game the same way, but there's just something different about rivalry games, Jesse. It's because, Reese, I think players are aware that games like this define your legacy. That was a weird, that's a weird inside, like, screen. In huh. Games is something that people They're going for it on four. Oh, no, they're, they're just, we're just not going to down the road. You have got to show up and play your best football in games like this. Thought he had it and couldn't get it through the upright. He missed it. And here in the first quarter, we remain tied. Huge one. Huge one. Back on offense, hoping to ride the wave to the end zone. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath. It's crazy there's no audible for a run play here. I mean, that will serve as a run play. We'll get just two running, though. Thinking bring some heat on third and long from the 44. Offenses don't like being in these situations. They don't like having little success on first and second down because now you know I gotta pass the football. I gotta air it out. It makes me really predictable. So let's make sure you take care of the football and find those plays you really like. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. This is the absolute right call. They're going for it on fourth down. It's a right call. <laughs> Definitely not the right call, but we'll do it. We've got to go to our tight end, who's wide open somehow. I don't know how he gets so wide open. And they finally make the tackle, but this will be a pretty easy conversion for this offense. Nice execution by the offense on third down. Understanding what they had to do to get the first down. Pass complete. Move the sticks. New set of downs. They've got it at the 36. It's a first and 10. Hand off from the shotgun. Had to work to pick up three down to the 33-yard line. Last time these two got together, it was a tight one, Jesse. Seems like every time these two teams play, the game just feels faster, right? Because it is a rivalry game. There's just a greater sense of urgency when we see these teams match up. Yeah, the fans feel it. They know it. There's so much to it. They think about it all year long. We can talk about the next game on the schedule. They're always looking forward to this one. Oh man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride no, in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. Wants to throw. It's McNamara. Oh, and this wow. is going to be incomplete on third. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. Oh. What a snag by the defense. He'll try to take it back. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. How about, the, how about the athletic ability by the big fella? You know, you got those big linebackers in there used to taking on fullbacks and offensive linemen the whole game. He understands for passing situations. I'm getting drops. I'm getting deep in my drops, playing the quarterback's eyes, breaking on the football, making the INT. What an athlete. I love this linebacker because he's able to dissect what's happening in front of him, and he reacts downhill, uses his speed to get to the line of scrimmage and create the negative play. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And the running game has been going in the wrong direction. They'll try to get their first positive play of the drive here on third down. Pressure coming. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. It's so nice when you know it's third and long, you know a pass is coming, you worked on it all week, get your feet set at the sticks, understand that quarterback's got to be rushed, get him off of this spot. Nice execution by this defense. Gets the first one of the day out of there, and we saw a lot of him in that loss last week, four times to be exact. They'll get him down at the 21-yard line, the coverage team able to stop him right there. Iowa has the ball back on offense. Boy, they hope this next drive is more productive after throwing a pick last time, Jesse. Yeah, and the coaches did a good job on the sideline there, just talking to the young quarterback and making sure he's able to turn the page, calm him down, 
to go out and refocus this guy. Yeah, and some people do that better than others, but you got to show some trust in him. Maybe get the ground game going and help around him a little bit with the system. It's the end of the first quarter, and now time for one of the great traditions in college football when the entire crowd here in Iowa City will turn and give a wave to the children at the University of Iowa, Stead Family Children's Hospital. Everyone engage, and we wave and salute those kids and wish them all the best. Just a short pass to the tight end. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. It's not a great feeling on defense, too. When you're bullets and you're expecting to get a sack, you're expecting to get a hit on the quarterback. If the offensive line and running backs pick it up, uh-oh, because now you have one less guy in the back end trying to cover all these receivers and tight ends, and you know you're in trouble. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Oh, he's going to try to get it all here. Makes the catch on the left. A giant chunk of yardage picked up there and there down to the 24. And the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. They're going to run it to the right. And a really nice run and pick up there. Good play. it in on first and goal they'll try to get it in with the run there we go we'll take those six he yards pushes his way down to the four as they get closer and closer the big fellas coming out in the goal line defense movement here from the tight end leaves it with the running back they get him on the ground at the three yard line but this defense is taking some punches and with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and love a toss. Don't love toss plays there. They the <laughs> bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Second quarter might not be gamble time, but inside the. I'm stupid for not kicking a field goal, but I might. I'll probably end up missing this one, to be honest with you. So this ain't the worst idea I've ever had. Practice all week long. That's the play you oh, I thought he caught that ball. And they can't he didn't. The connection on fourth <laughs> down, and they'll turn it over. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. They've got them pinned deep in their own end, and this crowd trying to help keep them there. Ooh, they lost they the bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. I think one of the keys of this defense's success all season has been how good they've been stopping the run. They're a top 10 unit when it comes to rushing defense, and it's helped them out this year down in the red zone. Got enough for the first, and he's still going. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. It's first and 10 from their own 14-yard line. He's looking to throw it. Got it in the middle, it's Fado. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. I'll tell you, I love the play call on first down here. You're just trying to find an easy completion. And the shortest throw on the field for a quarterback is finding your biggest target, and that's the tight end. Nice job. Now they'll try the right side. He smashes his way through again. And he's got enough for the first down. It'll be at the 35. That's a great looking run there. Nebraska's had such a great lineage at running back. When you think back to the great Roger Craig or Amon Green, Lawrence Phillips, Rex Burkhead, they always seem to be pumping somebody up into the NFL. This guy has a chance to play on Sunday because of his skills. Might as well give it to him again. We'll take a quick break here. Two minutes to play in the first half. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Scanning the field, it's Rayola. Makes the grab on the left. And he gets it to the 45-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Whatever the fastest tempo they have is, that's what they'll use. Looking to go up top on first down. That's reeled in, it's Coleman. And you see so many smart wide receivers, so many smart tight ends nowadays that they know where the holes in those zones are and they work with their quarterback, and they find them, and they sit down in them and make big plays. It's tough to sit back in zone and get such smart players now. 
Boy, his freshman quarterback has a hose. Did he sing that thing in there? Trying to find his man on first down. Grabbed in the middle. It's Fidel. You know, I know it seems like an easy pitch and catch, but for the tight end there, that route potentially changes if it's man coverage. So good job by him knowing it's zone. I'm just going to sit down. This is basically like a check down, right? Let's just take the easy pitch and catch and keep this drive going. They were able to get him stopped just shy of the first down mark. They'll snap it from the 28 in field goal range, but it's third and short. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. The Huskers have it with the first and ten. He's going to pass. Grabbed over the middle. It's Fidel. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. On second down, just keeps firing. Pulls it in the end zone. Touchdown, Nebraska. Can these guys just score from anywhere out there? After that drive, it sure looks that way. And that's what separates really good offenses from great offenses. When you're backed up in a bad position and you can still fight your way out and they'll get you a touchdown, that's a great drive by the offense. And the PAT gives them a 14-7 lead. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Iowa has it back on offense, hoping to ride the wave to the end zone. A really disappointing end of that last drive, David. Getting stopped on fourth and goal, they'll try to regroup. Yeah, and, and I think I'm preaching to my squad right now. Listen, we drove the ball down the field. We didn't just punch it in. Let's put another drive together, Jesse. And this time, let's get some points. You're right, because there were a lot of positives on that last one. They did a lot of things really well. they just got to do a better job. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Fresh set of downs after the completion. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. He makes a catch. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chain. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Looking for a man, it's McNamara. Trying to get to it. Feeling some heat. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Offense gets set for second down. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Looking to throw on second down. Fires to the right. Incomplete. He had to get rid of it before he wanted to. The defense put the heat on. And there's not very many offensive plays that are going to be successful. If you can rush three guys and still get to the quarterback, that's not a good sign for this offensive line. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. Makes a grab along the left sideline for the huge game. Dang, that was nice. That was a nice catch. Nice throw. Oh, nice catch. McNamara, okay. <laughs> Come on, get in there. Uh, it's short. Uh, the warm. Not doing it. We're not doing it. Six seconds. I got plenty of time to throw the ball here and get a touchdown. Oh, yeah. Easy mode. Look at that. Let's go. game comes through man and we need more of that in the second half an extra point away from tying this football game you trail a little bit in the first half stay calm but this passing game can continue to heat up look out in the second half you get that touchdown right before the half build the momentum and the last thing you need to do is mess it up by allowing a big kickoff return this will not be returnable as it sails out of the back of the end zone under a minute to play here in the first half, and the offense will take a knee, and that is how we'll wrap up the first half. 
Alright, into the first half. We've two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. The Hawkeyes will line up to kick off and start the second half. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. First drive of the second half, always fun to watch. You see what type of tweaks were made at the half, especially when you're locked up in a ball game like this one. Yeah, and it's been a good game. I mean, it's been a little bit of back and forth and, and a feeling out process. And now once you get in the second half, who's going to get aggressive, Paul? Who's going to take some shots, try to make some plays, and really go for it? Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I think as play callers right now, you learn a lot about these coaching staffs with respect to who does make the best adjustments. There's a lot of coaches that believe we're just going to be who we are. We're going to keep doing what we do we're just going to do it better but then there are others that tweak things a little bit on offense and on defense we're going to find out here they've got it at the 37 it's first and 10 right back to the well you want to make sure to maximize those types of runs and he gets it out to the 41 and it's just simple simple first down run showing your physicality setting your offense up in a good spot To the air. It's Rayola. He finds his man. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. They've done a really good job creating the matchups they want out of the slot. Yeah, dude. Get that guy matched up on a linebacker. That guy matched up on a safety. Keep him away from the corners by putting him in the slot. Get him the football. Let him make plays. They'll leave it with him. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Off the boot, looking for his man. Nice and there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Fires to oh. the wide out. We dropped it. Let's go. Huge drop. We were out of the net there. Defense. Look at all the way in, and it'll be fourth down. And the Huskers will punt this one away. This will be the second time oh, they've had to Oh, super short punt. Yeah. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Iowa has the ball back on offense. How big is this drive? Scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Defense gets a stop, and now it's up to them in a tie game. All right, so if you're the offensive coordinator here, let's dial it in. Who are your best matchups and best playmakers to take advantage of this golden opportunity? Yeah, and I'm interested to see this defense, too. Like the moment They're not in the box at all. Oh, we're just running. We're just running. Let's go. He's back. <laughs> My running back is back. 12 for 77. He hasn't got, I don't think he's got 100 yards in a while, but he hasn't played in a while. This offense is like running a perfection drill in practice against air. Chunk play after chunk play. There we go. Get my tight end some yards on the crosser. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. They might have the defense's head spinning a little bit now. Hit him with a big one. Now they hit him with a big pass. It's so hard to defend both. You know that. Which coverage do I want to put? Do I put more people in the box to stop the run? When you've got this oh, he's too fast. He's too fast. Defense. Juke move. Defense. Inside the five. Let's go. He has 89 yards on the ground and just another day at the office for the national leader in rushing. And the Hawkeyes will try to put one on the board on first and goal. Coming after it. Oh, what a juke move by me. Well, it's not really juke, but it was something. Let's run it. It's a week. Oh man! Oh, I almost. Uh. <laughs> Come on, we gotta get in there. I need a fullback. Why do I not have a fullback in the game right here? There we go. Let's go.
Man, I love the physicality of this offense. Team for 91. It's money time. Go. I've got to be more physical than you. And that's exactly what this offense just did. Put the ball on the ground and put it in the inside. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take it in and they'll bring it to the 25. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front they got to do a better job of getting blocks and establishing this run game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. After the incompletion, it's second and ten from their own 25. Here's the handoff. Breaks the tackle. Crosses the 30 to the 31, a six-yard gain. Five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple of carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. Catch in the middle. It's Coleman. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. And it's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. The Cornhuskers will line it up on first and ten. They'll try the run. There we go. Huge loser there. Down, and he's going to lose the yard on that one. Close one on that last one. It's second and 11. Back to pass. It's Rayola. Quickly complete. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. From the gun. Pass ah. to pass. Fires to the big wow. fella. 27. <laughs> really nice I think I, I wasn't even there. Get it to the 36. It'll be first down. The Huskers are rolling down the field. He leaves it with his back. And a good solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. Good spot after that seven yard pick up on first down. It's second and three. Play action. Working that left uh, side. Now. Got some room in the goal line. He was smelling that end zone, but they get him down at the four after the big pass play. The offense threatening. Close to the end zone now with a new set of downs. He's looking to pass. No way. It's incomplete. He was shooting for the end zone right there. Well, that last incompletion is a good example of why your timing has to be so good as a quarterback because the windows, they open and they close so quickly in this part of the field. Come on, I need to tackle. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. Third and goal, and they'll try to pass it in. Touchdown, Husker! Man, that is so good. There's not a lot of room to work over there on the sideline in the end zone, but he was able to control his body, catch the football, make sure he had a foot down inbounds. It doesn't get any better than that. And the extra point splits the upright. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring Ooh. it back. They get him down, and that'll be the final play of the third period. What a ride. It's been through the first three quarters of this game. We are all tied up. Let's check out some stats. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. The game oh, come on with that. Block the guy. Oh, my God. So no room to run there, and you wonder after that loss on first down where they turn now. Yeah, and that's why it's so important for the defense to win these first downs, right? You want to create negative. Well, when you leave that wide open, I'm just gonna keep doing that over all all game. Keep running that play. Gets those chains moving, gets it out to the 42-yard line. 
Well, I know the tight end did some good things after the catch, but got to give the quarterback credit to for the location of the throw. Because he put it out in front of his big man, he was able to make the catch and accelerate, creating some distance there between him and the defense. And they got the defense on that one, and they get it to the 29-yard line. This offense absolutely humming as they come to the line again. Now they'll run it to the right here. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. He stopped after a one-yard pickup at the 25. They run into a bit of trouble here, third and long from the 25, and the last thing they want is to get knocked out of field goal range. Looking for a physical attack. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That guy got... Didn't even go the right way. Let's go. He's brought down after a nice game. Nice little game. And they just kind of sneak that one in there as a defensive guy, third and five across. I'm thinking pass. They were thinking pass, Palmer, and they slipped the run. And it's so nice then to have this guy at running back too, right? Because you could throw it. And the pressure gets him back at the eight-yard line. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. They'll run it to the left. Here we go. Get in there. Get in there. Touchdown. Let's go. And they grab the advantage, taking the lead here on the board. Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Really disciplined job by the coverage. I wonder how the transfer portal works. You just, do you have a certain amount of money that you can offer or what? For NIL and stuff? I don't know how that works. <laughs> or is it like still recruiting where you actually have to recruit him? Oh, well, come on. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. They couldn't draw up a better way to start a drive, and now they've got it first and 10 from the 41. Caught over the middle. It's Coleman. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. Big drive for this offense late, trying to tie the game. They Maybe you have to, like, technically the recruit them, down, like, and here they or something. Again. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Looking to move it through the air. Snagged in the middle. It's Fredeau. They stop him just short of the first down, but it will be second and inches coming up. Dang. <laughs> yeah, it is second and inches. I don't really, I'm not worried about the... The inches and give them up, but using the quick game and the Huskers they're just driving down the field on us here. I'm not, we're not doing anything to stop slowing down. Our, our zone is zone coverage is no good. <laughs> There's nobody even on that guy, he's just running freely. And they finally haul him down, but not before let's try this. Huge moment coming here as they try to quiet this raucous, crazy crowd. Leaves it with the back. There we go. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no game blitz. land. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two minute warning. From the gun, the running back has it. Fights his way ahead. They get him down after a pickup of three. They'll mark it at the 12. It's third down now. They ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. We've reached the two-minute warning, and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. Uh, cover two, man. Long, trying to have a big completion here. Ah. Oh, he threw it away. I was always going to run it. Ooh, he had some room. I was coming back to try to get him. Fourth down. Do we do cover two man again? I'm going to do zone. I hate that I'm doing zone, but I like that's my best. No. He's short. He's short. He's short. Let's go. He didn't run, he didn't run the, the route far enough for it to be a first down. <laughs> this, is my, this is my golden play. Watch this. Oh, yeah. Juke. Oh, I didn't juke. He still got like seven yards, though, on first down, which is huge. Six yards. They're loading the box. I should have a tight end here. Or a tight end, a fullback, I mean. First down, there we go, that's huge. It doesn't end the game there, but it makes it a lot more tougher for them. 
102 yards for him over on the ground. He's, I think he leads the country in rushing is what I heard our commentator say earlier. So We have run him a lot this year, and he has got 100 yards a lot this year. Is there a third time out? I think it is. Yep. We can run the clock down to about 20, 40 seconds. Something. Unless we get a first down. Ooh, close. Third down. Oh, that's ridiculous. That stops the clock. They didn't even have a timeout, right? If you can get this many a chunk, that's crazy. Injury timeout stops the clock. I'm gonna go to what I what I what has worked. HP power. Oh my gosh, what did he just oh he just took a bunch of guys on. Oh yeah, there we go. That's it. That'll do it. Thank you for showing up. The Hawkeyes will snap it on first and ten. Looks like the offense will just take a knee. There is a long and storied history of great games between these two All right, rivals. Well, this we'll go to the bowl game. There won't make the Big Ten Championship really game unless somehow a bunch of teams lost. I, I don't know. I don't think there's a way that we made it. We'll check it out here in a second. McNamara, one touchdown, one interception. We ran the ball a lot, I think, didn't we? To get this Two touchdowns for Williams, 114. All the emotions running so 22 attempts. We ran the ball a lot. Well, let's see what happens with recruits. Hopefully, we got some recruits as well. Oh, uh, look at that. We lost all of them. We didn't get a single one. No way. I'm sick. <laughs> we got. Okay, so we didn't make the uh, Big Ten Championship game. That's pretty obvious. <laughs> Eight and one, seven and two. Yeah, we finished six and three. We were ahead of Ohio State because I believe we beat them, didn't we? Yeah. Look at how many points we scored. Way less than them. <laughs> six and one at home, three and two on the road. Ugh. Dang. All right. Well, we didn't make it. Obviously, not even close. Are we in the top twelve though? Where are we on the college football top twenty-five? Are we top twelve? Imagine. We're at thirteen. Oh. We won't make it because I don't think we'll make the... Ah, that sucks. We'll make the uh, thing. Let me see about trying to get a player that, like, I need but isn't interested in me. Or my team. Or my college, whatever. Whatever. School. So this guy's, we're fourth. See, like, okay, was that the one I put on there? No, this was the one I put on there. Why are we... You know what? We're not going to get any of these guys. I don't even know why we just did that. <laughs> this late in the year. I think we're going to have to just go with... We got two. We only got two recruits. We got... A right end and a center. God. I did a terrible job of recruiting, apparently. Oh, we can upgrade our coach. Yeah, we got 10. Okay, well. <laughs> 
All right, let's advance the week and see where it puts us. Um, maybe we'll get some recruits. Nope. Iowa State. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Gotta be kidding me. They're going to Iowa State instead of Iowa. That's crazy. Another bye week. Manage staff. I can't do any more recruiting, so recruiting's over. I'm assuming the next thing we do is a bowl game, probably, right? Minnesota. Uh. <laughs> oh, we did a terrible job recruiting, that's for sure. Oh, we got one. Nope, it wasn't us. That's the Heisman. <laughs> I think we probably won running back at Ben's defensive player. Wow, we actually, wow, we won a, oh, okay. Best defensive player award. What? That didn't look like he had a lot of good stats. I was assuming running back. Best running back? Yeah, I was saying we better. He had 1,600 yards and 17 touchdowns. Jeez. Tight end? Yeah. I was figuring he would. I was passing to him all year. <laughs> Best defensive back. All right. Best linebacker. Wow. Nick Jackson. Okay. All right, we're playing Missouri. We're 13th ranked. That's crazy. We almost made the college football playoff. Oh. Okay, what? Okay, we got all kinds of stuff to do. Or view job offers. I can leave? <gasps> I can leave Iowa. I mean, I'll have to head coach at Marshall. What? <laughs> all openings. All openings. Wow, okay, so you can leave Iowa. I don't want to leave Iowa. Early National Signing Day. I can't do anything here. I don't know why it let me go in there. Uh, manage staff. Staff moves. I don't I don't need I don't want to do anything. Oh, they fired everybody got fired. Went to the NFL, huh? I think we're going to just advance the week. Or advance to the bowl game. I'm assuming it's a couple weeks out. We got XP for nothing. I don't know what we did. <laughs> there it is. And we won some awards. So. Oh, how close? Or who? Let me see the Heisman. How How high was my running back? Probably not very high. No, he wasn't on the list. There was no running backs. Tight ends. Huh. Oregon, yeah, Big Ten. I didn't. We didn't play Oregon, so that kind of sucks. So, what's the bracket look like? Yeah, see, we were right behind Liberty, I think. They went 11-3. and three. They must have won their... Ohio State made it. I just hate that. Ugh. All right, we'll come back next time and we'll play our bowl game. <laughs>